start to bone again. Chest up nice and high, hands on our knees. We're going to reach the tip of the head to the ceiling, big breath into the belly. Let your shoulders rise, and as you exhale, just let your shoulders relax down. We're going to go again, nice big inhale, lift the shoulders up, tense the back. And as you exhale, just relax the shoulders down. One last one, draw the breath into the belly. Pull it into the chest, lift the shoulders up nice and high. As you exhale, relax the shoulders back down. We're going to tuck the chin in towards the chest, looking down towards the ground. Then we're going to roll the head over to the left. And then we're going to switch the gaze and look down towards the floor. Turn your head back to centre. We're going to tuck the chin in. Roll the head over to the right. Turn the gaze up towards the floor. And bring the head back to centre. I'm going to do that again. So roll the head over to the left. Turn the gaze down towards the floor. Back to centre. Roll the head over to the right. Shift the gaze down towards the floor. And back to centre. Nice. So what I want you to do now is to pop your left hand behind the lower back. You can pop it on the floor if you want to, if it's more comfortable. Um, if not, just pop it behind the lower back. So the back of your hand is there. We're going to take your right hand up, palm faces in. I'm going to try and make a circle as wide as you can, as big as you can, but we want to try and keep the chest nice and centre. So we're going to draw the hand back, leading the thumb. We're slowly going to rotate the palm around. Push the hand into a big circle as you can, and we're just going to drop it on top of the, the left hand on the lower back. And we're going to go again, but in reverse, push the hand back, twist the palm, lead with the baby finger this time, coming back up to centre. Really squeeze the bicep by the ear. Okay, we're going to go one last time, drawing back with the thumb, slowly let the hand twist out, rotate. And then lower down onto the left hand. Keeping the right hand there, we're just going to take the left hand up. Again, squeeze the bicep by the ear, drawing back with the thumb. Let the hand naturally twist round. Draw it back and then rest it onto the lower back. And then we're going to go back in reverse, leading with the big finger, twist. Palm facing in, bring the hand back up. Try to be mindful to keep your chest nice and still. We're going to go again, pull the hand back. Let the hand twist out. Bring it down. And then we're just going to relax the shoulders. Keep the hands onto the lower back. As we inhale, we're going to try and straighten the arms down the back and we're going to lift up the chest nice and high. Let's take a deep breath in, straighten the arms down, lift up the chest. And if you want to have a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can pull the hands away from the lower back. You can take one deep breath. And relax. What I want to do now is to come forward on the hands and the knees. We're going to slide the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Index finger pointing forward. We're going to separate the fingers as much as we can. And we're just going to tilt the body weight into our fingertips. So we're leaning the chest forward. And we're going to rock side to side. Making your way around. Pushing each fingertip into the ground. You can really feel that stretch in the forearm. In the hand. And then we're going to come back to centre. Keeping the hands and the knees where we are. And we're just going to do a bit of cat cow. So as we inhale, we're going to drop the belly down towards the floor, lift up the chest, looking forward. And as we exhale, we're going to pull the belly button up really round the back. Tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, drop the belly down. Lift up the chest, looking forward. And exhale, round the back, 
Tuck the tailbone, push the hands away from you. And then we're going to bring the spine back to neutral. We're going to sit back onto our heels. Take the hands out the step, pull the fingertips away from you. Nice big breath. You can drop the forehead if the floor is comfortable. We're going to come up onto our fingertips. So the separation between your arms and the floor. We're going to keep pushing the chest down towards the ground. We're going to take the right hand and thread it under the left. We're going to try and peek under the left arm. Drop the shoulder down. Big breath into the belly. And hand back. Set down. We're just going to repeat on the other side. Take the left hand under the right. Peeking under the right arm. And hand back the center. And here I come back up onto the hands and knees. What we're going to do now is take the left foot forward and we're going to let the hips drop between the legs. So you're just shifting your body weight into that front foot. If you want a bit of a deeper stretch, you can test the right glute to tuck in the tailbone under slightly so you put a little bit more pressure on that hip flexor there. We lift up the hips, walk the hands back in, and we're going to try and straighten up this front leg, pulling the toes back towards you. Keep reaching the chest forward, so we don't want the back round in too much. We're going to keep a nice straight spine, reaching forward with the chest. What we're going to do now is activate the hamstring by digging the heel into the ground. So we're going to dig the heel into the floor, holding for five, four, three, Two, one. Bending back into that front knee, hands onto the inside of the front foot. Again, push the hips down between the legs. We're going to actively push the hips down to really tense the right glute this time. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Lift up the hips. We're going to go back into that sprinter stretch, hands back in. Follow the toes back towards you again. We're going to activate the hamstring. Dip the heel into the ground, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Bending back into that front knee. Hands again on the inside of that front foot. What we're going to do now is pull the right foot back towards your bum. And we're going to relax the foot down, lift up the knee, so making sure that back leg is nice and straight. Drop the knee down again, we're going to pull the foot towards the bum. And then last one, foot down, knee up. And we're going to go back, knee down, foot towards the bum. Keeping that foot nice and close towards the bum, we're going to take the left hand out in front of you, push your fingertips away. We're going to keep pushing up. Take the hand up or head, and then we're going to try and twist, try and touch the heel of the foot. Doesn't matter if you don't. You take the hand back or we'll keep pushing the fingertips away, bring the hand back to center, back where it was, drop that foot down, lift up that knee. We're going to take this front foot back into plank position. We're going to lower ourselves down, lift the chest off the floor, squeeze your hips into the ground. Really push your shoulders away from the ears. Nice big breath into the belly. I'm going to lift up the hips and back on our hands and our knees. I'm going to take the right foot forward next to the hands. Again, we're going to shift the body weight into that front foot, letting the hips drop between the legs again. If you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can activate the left glute by pushing the hips down. We're going to lift up the hips, straighten up that front leg with the hands in. And then we're 
going to try and pull those toes back towards us. So again, we're going to reach forward with the chest. Careful not to run the back too much. And then we're going to activate the hamstring on this side. So we're going to dig the right heel into the floor, holding five, four, three, two, one. We're going to bend back into that front knee, hands off the inside of that front foot. And this time we're going to really push the hips down towards the ground and we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lift up the hips, straighten that leg back and do the sprinter stretch, pull the toes back towards you. Again, we're going to dig the heel into the ground, hold them for five, four, three, two, one. Back into that front foot, hands inside the foot. We're going to pull the left foot back towards the bum, so activating the left hamstring. Then we're going to relax that foot down, lift up the knee, straighten the leg as much as you can, tense the quad. Lower the knee down, foot towards the bum. Foot down, knee up. And then we're going to relax that knee down. Foot towards the bum, keeping the foot where it is. You're going to take the right hand out, push the fingertips away from you. Push them out up towards the sky. I'm going to twist from the belly button, trying to touch the heel behind you. Doesn't matter if you don't touch. And I'm going to take the hand back overhead, push the fingertips away, and we're going to relax the hand down. Relax the foot down, lift up that back knee, take the front foot back into plank position. This time, keep the chest up nice and high. We're just going to dip the hips down towards the ground. Really push the shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the glutes. Big breath into the belly. Then we're going to relax the chest and onto the floor. We're going to take the hands out as if you're a cactus, so they're at a 90 degree angle. So we're going to bend the left leg and then we're going to push the left hand into the floor, helping you twist, trying to touch the left foot onto the floor on the other side of you. Nice big breath into the belly. What you're going to do with the right hand, you're going to push the right hand into the floor, but I don't want to move. So we're going to hold that for five, four, three, two, one, and then roll back. Popping the left elbow down as you move. We're going to push the right hand into the floor, bending the right leg, twisting, touching the floor the other side with the right leg if you can. Big breath into the belly. And we're going to actively push the left hand on the arm into the ground, holding for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to roll back to centre. Okay, so we're going to take the hands out into a T position. And we're going to, you know, exhale your rotate so the thumbs are pointing out towards the sky. Really drop the chin down towards the floor, drop the forehead down. And we're just going to pass the arms off the floor five times. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Take the hands into a wide position, leading with the thumbs. So keeping the thumbs up. Towards the sky, we're going to lift the hands five times off the floor. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to take them straight out in front of you. So we're going to lift them off the ground, half them, take them out towards the tee, flip the palms. So your palms are facing up towards the sky, and we're going to lower them on the lower back. Rest the elbows down. Keeping hold of the wrists, so we're just going to squeeze the shoulder blades together, really lift up the elbows as high as you can, squeezing your elbows together, keeping them where they are, we're going to slowly try to straighten up the hands, keeping them as high as you can, taking them out towards the T. We're going to flip the palms, keep them nice and high, and we're slowly going to take the hands up overhead and rest them down. We're going to take the hands next to the chest, we're just going to push ourselves up onto our hands and our knees. And we're going to lift up the hips, straighten the knees into downward facing dog. 
So get a soft bend in the knees. We want to try and dip our chest down towards our thighs. Nice big breath into the belly. This so time we're going to try and straighten up the legs, driving the heels into the ground. Going back up onto the tippy toes. And we're going to bend into the knee, drop the chest towards the thighs again. And we're slowly going to try and straighten up the leg, driving the heels in towards the ground. So we're going to take the left foot between the hands if we can. We're going to come up to a warrior one. So the front leg should have a bend and your back leg should be nice and straight. Try and square your hips forward. That's it. We're going to take the hands up overhead. We're going to squeeze the biceps by the ears. We're going to push the shoulder blades down the back and squeeze the patterns together. We're going to swivel the back foot and drop it sideways. Bring that front knee bending forward. We're going to drop the hands now into a warrior two. What I want to focus on is to the tailbone under so your back isn't arching. So we've got a nice neutral spine, nice and strong through that front and back leg. We're going to straighten up that front leg. We're going to reach the left hand forward as far forward as you can. I'm slowly going to try and sweep it down towards the ground, taking the right hand up towards the sky. Try to lengthen the spine as much as you can. And we're going to come back up to standing. Relax the arms down, look at the two toes to face the same way as the back ones. So we're side on to our mat. What I want you to do now is to start pushing the hips back first. Into the head, reaching forward to the chest, coming down to a forward bend. We're just going to cross the arms in a bottom position and just let the upper body hang. Get a nice deep breath. And we're just going to roll our body from our heels to our toes. You can rest the hands down on the floor, it's more comfortable for you. So when you're coming back onto heels, really pull the toes up, and then when you're coming up onto the toes, really lift up the heels. We're going to bring ourselves up so our chest is parallel to the floor, and our nice neutral spine. We're going to grab the left leg with both hands, trying to twist from the belly button. If you want more of a stretch, you can take the left hand, and we're just going to tuck it behind the lower back. And relax the hands back to centre. Then we're just going to repeat to the other side. So grabbing the right leg with both hands, twisting from the belly button. And again, if you want to stretch, take the right hand behind the lower back. And relax back to centre. We're going to engage the glutes, nice and neutral spine, coming back up to standing. We're going to turn the front foot. Facing back forward, swimming back up on the tiptoes, taking the hands off the inside of that front foot. Nice bend in that front knee. And we're going to take the front foot back into plank position, lower ourselves down, chest off the floor, squeeze your hips into the ground. Nice. We're going to curl the toes under. We're going to lead with the hips this time into downward facing dog. And then at the heels, really take your time pushing the heels down in towards the ground. And I'm going to take a step forward between the hands with the right foot coming up into a warrior one on the right side. Again, we're spending that front knee, back leg nice and straight, square the hips forward, hands overhead. Shoulder blades down the back, squeezing the palms together, biceps by the ears. Really try to separate the weight between both feet. We don't feel like we're leaning too much into that front leg. 
We're going to have to drop that back foot sideways, dropping into warrior two, keep driving that front knee forward. Again, focus on tucking that tailbone under. We're going to reach forward with that right hand as far forward as it'll come. Then we're going to swoop it down towards the ground with the left hand up towards the sky. Straighten out that front leg. And then we're going to come back up to standing. Relax the arms down, turn the toes to face the same way. And we're going to go back into a forward fold. We're going to start pushing the hips back first, leaning forward to the chest. Just coming down to where that's comfortable for you. Relax the hands on the floor if that's comfortable. And this time we're going to shift our body weight from our left foot to our right foot. So we're going to bend into that left knee. And you should feel stretch on the inside of the right leg. And then switch sides. You can go as fast or slow as you like, whatever you feel like you need. We're going to do two more on each side. Now bring the hips back to centre. We're going to halfway lift, chest parallel to the floor. Then we're going to pop the left hand on the ground and we're in the your chest and then we're going to take the right hand up. Try and twist from the belly button, pull the hand back as far as is comfortable. And then we're going to drop that hand down and swap the sides. So right hand down, we're going to take the left hand up. And relax that left hand down. We're going to make our way back up to stand and engage the glutes. We're going to bend into that front foot, toes facing forward. Swiveling up on the back foot, hands onto the inside of that front leg. Dropping the hips between the leg, bending into that front knee. Taking this front foot back into plank position. Lower your slats down, chest off the floor, squeeze your hips into the ground. We're going to take it in turns with each shoulder, just dipping it into the middle. Get a little bit of rotation in the spine. And then we're going to come back to centre and we're going to lift up the hips. So we're back on our hands and our knees. Okay, so we're going to take the left knee forward. So we're going to bring it in towards the chest. Keeping the foot nice and close to the bum, we're going to take the knee out towards the left. Knee towards the back, back into the chest. And then we're going to do it the other way around. So point the knee towards the back of the room, out towards the left, back into the chest. Take the left leg out towards the left, towards point your forward, heel down on the ground. And we're going to slowly sit the hips back and externally rotate the legs, the toes pointing up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to rock back forward, toes pointing forward. We're going to do that two more times. So hips back, lift the toes, bring them up towards the ceiling. And rocking back forward. And last one, hips back, toes up. And then rock back forward. Okay, so we're going to keep the hands separate a little bit. Raise yourself on the floor, and then we're going to pulse the left leg off the floor five times. So coming up, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Bending that knee back in. And then we're just going to do the same thing as we did on the other side. Just stack the hands underneath the shoulders, taking the right knee towards the chest. Foot nice and close to the bum. We're going to drive the right knee up towards the right, towards the back back into the chest and then reverse, knee towards the back, up towards the right, back into the chest. Right leg out towards the right, nice and straight, toes point forward, heel down. Yes, slowly sit the hips back, 
Exhale, you rotate the leg towards, point your left towards the ceiling. And walk back forward. <clears throat> We're going to go again, hips back, toes up. And come back forward. And last one, sitting back, toes up. And walking back forward. <clears throat> Take your hands up on the floor. <coughs> then we're going to take the right foot off the floor. We're going to pass it five times coming up. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax it back down, bring that knee back in. We're going to come back into child's pose, separate the knees, let the chest drop down a little bit deeper into the floor this time. Take the hands out in front of you. We're going to take two deep breaths. Coming back up onto the hands and the knees. We're just going to swing our legs around, swing our legs out in front of us. Now we're sitting on our bones. Up some water if you need it, guys. So we're going to activate the legs, turn some quads, feet together, bring the toes back towards your chest up nice and high. You can take the hands up overhead, reach your hands up as high as you can. We're going to reach them forward, keep driving them forward, coming into a forward fold, hinging at the hip. We're going to grab hold of the legs wherever it's comfortable. So if that's the, the shins, the ankles, the feet, wherever. Nice big breath into the belly as you inhale and just try and feel your belly pushing against your thighs. One more breath. And relax back up to sitting, give the legs a little bit of a shake. We're going to take the hands, the legs into straddle position. We're going to tense the legs again, so we're going to make sure the quads are nice and tense, turn the toes back towards you, hands onto the inside of the legs, and we're going to take baby steps forward until you can't come forward anymore. When you get into that bottom position, as you inhale, push yourself out to the stretch. Give yourself a little bit of room to breathe. And then as you exhale, really pull yourself a bit core down towards the ground. Activate the quads, really tense the legs. Inhale, out to the stretch. And exhale, squeeze. Last breath, nice big inhale, and exhale. Now we're going to slowly make our way back up to sit in. We're going to take the hands either side of the left leg, and we're just going to work on some compression strength. So we're going to lift the left leg off the floor five times. That's the hardest one for an easier version. Just bend the knee, pulling the foot a little bit closer towards you. So when you're ready, come in. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. If you get a bit of cramp, you can walk all the heels. And we're going to take it over to the right. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Rocking all the heels. We're going to bring the feet to meet each other. Keep the knees dropped out. Sitting up nice and tall, grab a hold of the ankles. We're going to give the knees a little bit of a jig. And then we're going to activate the glutes and pull the knees down towards the ground. So don't push your knees down with your elbows. We're going to actively pull them down. We're going to hold that for five, four, 
three, two, one. And relax, give him a jig. And we're gonna go again, pull the knees down. Five, four, three, two, one. And give him a jig. We're gonna bring the knees together. We're gonna keep them nice and tight to our chest. Now we're gonna roll onto our back, find yourself a nice space. We're just going to rock the, the knees over the hips, left and right, forwards and back. We do a circle going left and a circle going right. We're going to plant the feet down, keeping the feet together, we're just going to drop the knees either side. So separate the knees. We're just going to hold this for two breaths. We're going to focus on your breathing. So four seconds on your inhale, four seconds on your exhale. Try and control the breath. Slow it down a little bit. And then we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to bring the knees together and we're going to take the feet out to set. <coughs> Keeping your feet where they are, we're going to separate both knees and then we're going to drop both knees down towards the left so our legs are in a zigzag position. We're going to actively push the right knee down in towards the ground. We're going to hold five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Keep the knee where it is. And we're going to go again. Drive the knee down in towards the ground. Three, two, one. One, bring the knee back to centre, and you drop them both over towards the right. And then we're going to push the left knee down towards the ground. Hold them for five, four, three, two, one. Relax, keep the knee where it is. And then we're going to go again one last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knee back to center. So we're going to bring the feet in a set. And then we're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. And then if, if you want a deeper stretch, you can pull that knee in towards the chest, interlock the fingers behind the back of the leg. And we're just going to take two deep breaths. Again, think about your four seconds in and your four seconds out. Focus on driving that air into your belly and then filling up your chest. And then as you exhale, emptying your chest and then squeezing from your belly. And we're going to relax that foot down onto the floor. We're just going to switch legs. Take two deep breaths, four seconds in, and four seconds out. Just relax that foot back down where it goes and cross the legs. We're going to bring both the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. We're going to roll onto our left, so the knees touching the floor. And then we're slowly going to try and roll the right shoulder onto the floor the other side, taking the back of your hand onto the floor, open out of the chest. <clears throat> We 
Bring the hand back in towards the chest, rolling back onto your back, knees together, rolling it onto your right. Again, twisting from the belly button, left shoulder onto the floor, the other side, back of the hand on the floor. Next deep breath, try to keep those two pipes away from each other. Bring the hand back in towards the chest, keep the knees together, roll them back in towards the chest, onto your back, set the hands behind the back, the knees, and then we're just going to rock up to sit in. And we're done guys, thank you so much for coming.